he didn't have the sensibility, the common sense, to realize that he just dehumanized people. Now, we know when the World Trade Center was bombed that all those people were dehumanized. Mm -hmm. We experience this pain ourselves when it happens to us. Mm -hmm. What breaks us down? Why can't we recognize the tragedy that is evoked to the other, to another group? It seems perverse to me, yet it is natural. Yes. Mm -hmm. Have you given any thought on this? Oh, very much so. It's it's like, as I said, it's a it's a paradoxical situation when someone injures uh, someone you love, and your first reaction is, yes. "Oh God, I I would have done anything to be in that person's place and, and not let that happen to them," mm. and then once. You take sense of, of, of it and realize how horrible it is. The minute you see the person that's done it, you do a flip. Yes. And you want to then do to them. So it's, you know. Revenge. Revenge. And it, it, takes, it takes a whole different kind of spirit to try and work through that whole thing of forgiveness. Right. And uh, that, that's the paradox there. When we start to study what caused the action, with the sense of revenge, that instinct of revenge, to the side, and actually start to analyze the situation. What's going on? What led to this person doing this? Mm -hmm. Was it abuse as a child? Is it chemical deficiency? Mm. What? Right. Now, we can take this line of thought and come and start to discuss our prison system in this nation. It is mm -hmm. based on revenge. Not all prisoners are going to be in there for life. Yet, once they've served their term, they are permanently stigmatized. Mm -hmm. And now they are pushed to the side in our culture, not hireable. Mm -hmm. Are we silly? So we are creating enemies. We are creating a subclass. And this subclass is going to have less options available, thus more mm -hmm. crimes occur. We've grown, we're saddened, we're hurt, we're embittered by the crimes, mm -hmm. we're angered, Yes, absolutely. And that crime needs to be dealt with. That person needs to be dealt. Justice needs to be evoked. Absolutely. But when we isolate somebody, when we cast them away from our culture, mm -hmm. we're shooting ourselves as well as that person, as well as their family. Silly. What about education, too? Mm -hmm. Not everybody can afford in our nation to go on a college or trade school. They don't have the proverbial bootstraps to pull mm -hmm. themselves up with. Yet we as a culture are quite satisfied with not providing the opportunity to become educated. It, it's very interesting um, how the dy what the dynamics are there and not the uh, a total lack of understanding mm -hmm. where people do not realize that it would be far less expensive yes. <laughs> and far less uh, down the road costly if we did educate mm -hmm. the prison population. Um, but it's like anything else. Um, we are cost-effective administrators of whatever, cost-effective people instead of forward-looking and instead of brave to Please, say, yeah. no, this is not going to happen. This is what is going to happen. Um, and so um, 
you know, things do not change, unfortunately. And it is because of a lack of people not having an ethical backbone. Right. If we look at the emergency rooms, I don't think we're being too cost effective in the here and now. Mm -hmm. Because we have people without insurance flooding our emergency rooms. It's unprepared. It's really not a, a structure that's mm -hmm. meant for general health care. Right. Yet, we have it mm -hmm. packed. Mm -hmm. That costs, but because of our economic system, because insurance companies are leading us, no longer the doctors, mm -hmm. the, the profit, the, the lust of profit over the well-being of us as a culture, as a people, mm -hmm. when we cease being citizens and become consumers, yeah. when that becomes our identity, we got a problem. And health care is one issue. Uh, a couple years ago, I, I did a talk on this, on health care, and uh, did the research, it was average $6,000 per person for health care mm -hmm. in the United States. And about 60% of the citizens had health care in this country. And when we looked at just the, the root, the basic of social medicine of Canada mm -hmm. and Great Britain, it comes to it came at that time to two and a half thousand for the basic coverage, mm -hmm. and these people, of course, were able to go and purchase additional insurance on top of that. Mm -hmm. We're spending six thousand for average, and we don't have everybody insured, mm -hmm. and where emergency rooms are filled, and when we buy medicine, we're paying for the advertising costs mm -hmm. for the pharmaceutical companies. Mm -hmm. Something's perverted. Something's off. It's. It's an egocentric society. Yes, it is. Instead of a other-centered society, people looking out for number one instead of the community and what is going to be best Absolutely. for all. And to me, that's where the ethics comes in. Absolutely. Is to say, look, um, we, we're, we're, we're feeling this right now because of the greed of several... of, of many, many people in corp the corporate world and have bankrupt this country mm -hmm. and because they, instead of giving a, a decent living wage to the common yeah. person, they need to have, I don't know, millions of dollars plus stock in the company, which now is worth nothing. But anyway, they still have their millions of dollars. And th this, is, this to me is not only unethical, it is totally immoral, because that coming yeah. from a, 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 a God-fearing base, God-fearing in the sense that God-loving, uh, or a loving base of what is good for all. Well, we can get into... You know, I'm, as a person who's not religious, mm -hmm. but I grew up fundamentalist, uh -huh. uh, the def definition of the essence of God mm. does vary within the Christian faith in this country. It varies very much. Varies so. very much. Yeah. Um, that of love mm. is a more moderate, it's a liberal Christian thought. Mm. The God of vengeance, eternal damnation, of us needing to sh shake in our shoes, not to focus on the here and now, but be scared about what happens after death, mm. is a mindset that the Christian conservatives trumpet. What happens on social issues when one's reality mm -hmm. is based in fear? It's quite different. Mm -hmm. It becomes self-centered, doesn't it? Yeah, it's the same. It becomes self-centered. Mm -hmm. And so... You know, I base my ethics on, on humanism. Mm -hmm. Focus not on me and some god, mm -hmm. but me and another human. Mm -hmm. And see, with us, or with me, if we do not see the godliness in the other, okay, the... Uh, God, who you know we there are some of us who believe that God 